at 3,020 pounds, this Jayco Jayfeather X17Z is here at Halet Auto and RV in Coldwater, Michigan. And let me tell you, I know a lot about these because this is the unit that I personally bought, not this exact unit, but this model. It was an older unit, it was a 2012. This is what I bought from Josh the RV Nerd. This is the unit that made me a customer here at Halet's prior to becoming an employee. So I am very familiar with these uh, smaller hybrids. And uh, let's go inside and show you. This really packs a lot in a small package. A lot of good features in these. Um, a lot of sleeping space. Everything, a lot more than you would expect in something this size. Now that we're on the inside, you're gonna see this nice big stainless steel double basin sink. Three burner cooktop. And let me just kinda just kind of give you a feel for the overall inside of this before we go into any more detail because like I said before, it really packs a lot into a small package. That's what drew me to this back in 2012. So we're gonna have a jackknife sofa on this side that will convert down into a sleeping area if you uh, so need it. Large, big queen size bed up in the front in the hybrid. Um, what I like about the hybrid pop-outs is you can open up all those uh, windows right there, get a nice breeze going through. It's, it's a great transition if you really like tent camping, but you just don't want to be on the ground anymore. You want something a little bit easier to set up. The hybrids really kind of fit that niche very well. Cabinetry up above this side window right here. Below that, we're gonna have another dinette. That di Not another, but the dinette. And that dinette will fold down into another sleeping space if you need that. There's storage under both sides of those cushions. Coming around, you're gonna see your furnace with a little bit of a cabinetry right there. Nice big five cubic foot refrigerator. Um, that's gonna have a lot of refrigerator space and a little bit of freezer space, so just enough for those popsicles, maybe a frozen pizza or two, things like that. A TV had been added to this at some point. That's why they have that swing arm right there. Right to the right of that swing arm is going to be your audio system. Let's get a look at that swing arm again as I move to the front. Give you the view of the back. We'll go over our kitchenette area a little bit more. So above our jackknife sofa right here, we're going to have these nice two big storage cabinets. Right next to that's going to be your microwave with your hood range. Another cabinet on the other side of that. Nice little backsplash, gives you an accent over that, just kind of breaks up that space nicely. Three burner cooktop with oven, good for frozen pizzas, cookies, things like that. A little bit of cabinetry storage below that, as well as those other dual cabinet doors just below the sink, as well as a power point. So that's going to be a good thing to uh, plug in your coffee makers, toasters, things like that that you're going to want on your countertop. Again, facing towards the rear, the door on the right is going to be into our bathroom. And then we'll have our rear mattress. Let's just go ahead and take a look at that rear sleeping area right now. Um, what I like about this style of hybrid is this rear, this rear sleeping area gets a little bit more privacy of that pull across curtain. Um, this is where I always slept, put the kids up in the front. That way I could be close to the uh, back door as well as having some privacy. Again, the three big zip out windows that you're going to see, one on the side one on the back and then the other one on the other side really will unzip allow a lot of flow through 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 here flow through through here air through here um you're gonna see that cable right there on the side there is no bars underneath here holding up our bunk ends we have cables aircraft quality cables on both sides that hold the bunk ends up so real easy to set up and take down and i believe the bunks are rated to about a thousand or eleven hundred pounds each now let's go ahead and jump into that bathroom and see what we have in there. So starting over here, you're gonna see that nice big uh, counter right there with the flush mount sink in it. A Little bit of storage below that. Coming up, we're gonna have our mirror so we can make sure we look good before you head out. Skylight above our shower, nice big corner shower. It's gonna have that surround in there with the separate faucet. Not all campers in this class size will have that separate faucet. Sometimes they'll come off the kitchen sink, but it's nice to see that Jayco just went ahead and had that separate faucet over there so you can control it while you're in the shower. Nice big shower pan, plenty of room in there that you're gonna need to get yourself clean. Foot flush toilet over here on this side. Coming up, you're gonna see a couple of towel hooks have been installed up here. Great place, you know, to keep your towels, things like that. Uh, whatever you're gonna to wanna to hang up while you're in the shower, maybe a robe. 
and then our our vent right there complete with fan and a nice little LED light adjacent to that. So again, a real small unit, but I mean, pl everything you need, plenty of room. Um, you know, sometimes again in this class, you don't get a sink, but here you're gonna see we have the toilet, the shower, and the sink area, along with plenty of storage for everything that you're gonna need for those toiletries. On here on the outside, you're gonna see our big front bunk end right there, and again, Notice no bars holding that up. That's gonna be held up by those uh, cables inside. I believe a rating of 1,000 or 1,100 pounds on those. Um, I mean, just fantastic. Uh, gonna make setup and takedown very, very easy without having to deal with any kind of bars. You're gonna see a manual front tongue jack on there. If you ever wanna upgrade to the power tongue jack, our service department can easily handle that for you. But uh, this is a pretty lightweight, small unit. I had to actually get one of the lot trucks and pull it forward a little bit so I could get that back bunk down. And so I had to crank it up and down a little bit myself. Not that big of a deal. Just behind that, you're gonna see your 12 volt marine deep cycle battery, dual 20 pound propane tanks. And also on the tongue, I wanna take, I wanna bring your attention in here, show you something really cool. Jayco has mounted that front, uh, that spare tire right there on the front in the tongue. What that's gonna do is that's gonna add a little bit of tongue weight to this unit, which is gonna help it tow better. Plus it's up out of the way and that's just a, like a neat little drop down rack. Um, you're gonna see your UV uh, tinted windows right there. That's opening, gonna allow you more cross breeze in case you're not getting enough by unzipping all your bunk ends. Outside shower on this side. And coming over here, back here, that little black square on the back, that's gonna be your sewer hose container. So it, uh, it just stores right in there. And just below right here, that's gonna be your dump valves up out of the way, easy access, and you're gonna see your crank down style jacks right there. Over here on the door side, I didn't quite give myself enough room to get around, but you're gonna see on that rear bunk, again, no braces underneath, just got those two cables that I've showed you a couple times holding it up, fantastic, great way to just make setup a lot easier and take down. Nice big manual awning on this side. Uh, I really like the awnings. They handle uh, you know, the gusts of winds really nicely. Really uh, a little bit more difficult to set up and take down. And by difficult, I mean 30 seconds. They're not hard. Um, but I mean, just really, uh, I, I like the manual awnings a lot. Really just kind of lock down onto the side of the camper. It can handle a little bit of wind. Uh, again, UV tinted windows there above the kitchen. And then the farther, larger one in the front is gonna be right above that jackknife sofa inside. So if you're interested in this unit or any of the other 500 plus units we have in stock in our new and used inventory here at Halet Auto RV in Coldwater, Michigan, give us a call, let our salespeople go to work for you. We are ready if you need hybrids, pop-ups, fifth wheels, whatever it is you're looking for, we have them here and our sales staff is ready to help you out. Again, Coldwater, Michigan, Halet Auto and RV, we are ready to get you camping and start your RV adventure today.